Welcome to a fun introduction to using tables in Microsoft Word 2007. I am describing this specifically to help students learn how to use tables for resumes, but the tips I'm going to show could also be helpful, helpful for anyone who is interested in learning more about using tables. So let's get started. I'm going to go to the Insert tab up here on the top ribbon, and right away I see Table. Pretty nice, huh? Well, if I click it once, I have all these different squares pop up crazy. Well, look at what happens when I start hovering over these. You can see that the table automatically shows up in the background. Notice that the default is for it to fill the entire width of the screen. Now I can change that if I want by clicking insert table. Then I get a little box that will let me be very more specific. I can say I want a million columns, a million rows. I don't want it to be fixed column width. Well, you know what? I think that's a little trickier than it needs to be because once we make the table, we can adjust it. How about, just for fun, I'll make a four column table um, that is, what is that, seven rows, whatever. Great, I've got my table, very exciting. Notice a few things here. When my mouse is over it, often this little um, arrow thing shows up in the upper left. If I click it, everything in the table is selected. That makes it really easy for me to select the font that I want to use inside the table, maybe even the size. Now watch what happens when I choose the size of the font the table itself gets bigger. Now again, that doesn't have to be set that way, but the default that I'm set at is for the size of my font to determine how big the table cells are. That can be really helpful when you're trying to manipulate things inside, even though it's not the only way. I'll just go ahead and use Calibri 12. So for instance, I could type my name here in the first cell. Just to play around a little, um, and I encourage you to do this on your own too, what if I hit enter? Oh, well look, look, the whole row gets bigger every time I hit enter. I can move the cursor around, I'm using the arrow keys, and make any rows bigger. Well that's again because the table is set to expand to fit the size of the cells. Now say this is the table I got, I might be like, well hey, why is this so big? I want to try to shrink it up. I might grab that bottom line and be like, hey, it won't shrink. What the heck is the problem? Well sometimes that's because one of these cells in this row has um, had someone press enter in it. So it's automatically filling to fit that size. So I can, I'm pushing up and down in these cells to try to figure out if there's any invisible spaces. Aha! You notice that? There's some invisible space. Well, I'm going to hit backspace a couple times and that will allow me to shrink it. Um, very nice. Um, the other way, as I showed a second ago, to change cell sizes is to hover over a line until you get a different cursor there. You see that little arrows in both directions? That will let me uh, move things larger and smaller. But again, um, if there's uh, if, if, it, if there's content in a cell, even if that content is just me hitting enter a number of times, it's not going to let me shrink it smaller than that content. Does that make sense? So, um, say now I have these cells that I've played with. Okay, I've made my table a little bigger. Um, so what? Well, maybe I want to merge some cells together. For instance, what if I want this entire row to be a single cell? That's actually pretty easy. I'm going to highlight the entire cell. I just um, clicked anywhere in there, held down the left mouse button, and dragged over before I let go. And then maybe you notice that when I'm dealing with the table, I get these two new options up here, table design, table layout. Watch when I click somewhere else in the document away from the table. Um, if I go down here, those table options disappeared. In other words, part of Microsoft Word 2007 is that when I click on a picture or a table or something, I get new options to help me deal with that. I'm going to click back in the table, ta-da, they're there again. So, um, let's go back to what we were doing. I'm going to highlight that first row. I'm going to look at this design. Oh, that's nice. And then I'm going to go to layout. Ooh, nice. Well, one of the options here under the layout tab is merge cells. They have that handy little picture here. Let's go ahead and click it. Ta-da! Suddenly, I have a merged cell. Suddenly, my table is starting to look a little funnier, but you know what? I kind of like that. No big deal. So um, let's imagine, I'm not going to make an entire resume here or even make a very pretty one, but let's say that I have um, one um, subheading here, like um, for instance, education. And then over here, I have um, first education infor information, and then down here, I have second education info. Well, um, uh-oh, did you notice that went down to the next line? I didn't want it to. Well, how easy is it to just grab that line, make it a little bigger? How nice. Um, so maybe 
as I'm manipulating things in my tables, I'll use merging cells and splitting cells very um, strategically. For instance, I might highlight both of these, merge them. And now, um, let's let's do that again down here for for a whole other section. Um, let's call it activities. Um, first activity info, second activity info. So now. Um, when I'm looking at the layout of my table, it's very easy for me to adjust things to make it um, as exact as I want. Um, maybe I'll be like, oh, you know what, my quadrants aren't very very even, so I'll want to move this over a little. Well, it's that easy to grab the line and move it. Um, maybe I'll want to put it over there. Um, you know, maybe I'll decide to merge all of these cells. Do, do, do. How fun. Um, and then um, type some bullets here. Um, to get the bullets, I want to go back to the Home tab up here, click the little bullet button, and then you know I'll say here's my school, here's my GPA, here's my major, fun things like that. Um, then maybe I'll go down here and do it again. I'm I'm just making this up on the spot. You can follow your own advice about resumes that you've found elsewhere. Um, but again, um, say I'm looking at this in the big picture, and I'm like, oh, you know, this um, isn't chunked very well. This information is really close to this information. Well, it's that easy. I'm just going to drag that line down a little bit, and now everything is a little separated. Now, wait a minute. You might say, I don't want to turn on a resume that has all these lines all over it. That's totally crazy. Well, I'm going to go up to my table design, and then you see this borders option? If I click that little arrow, it's like, whoa, there's all kinds of stuff. I can adjust a lot of options for individual cells right here, or um, even whatever I select. If I select the entire table, whatever I select here will apply to the entire table. I think the easiest way to do it is to go to this bottom option, borders and shading. That little dot, dot, dot implies that when I click it, there's going to be another menu to pop up. Hey, there's the menu. Sweet. Well, I want no borders in the entire um, the entire table. I don't want ever to see a line showing me what's there. I want to apply it to the whole table. Um, I can apply it to just a certain cell I'm in, paragraph, text, whatever. I want to apply it to the whole table. Hit OK. Now, you see that there are still little blue lines here. Well, that's for me. That's to help me, the, the person typing this, know that there's lines and know that if I want, I can still adjust them. But if I were to print this right now, you wouldn't be able to see those lines. Don't believe me? Well, let's go up here and check it out. I'll click the little um, crazy button. Is there a word for that? I think there is. I can't remember. I'm going to go to print, print preview. Ta-da! Invisible. No lines at all. Um, it's pretty ugly right now. Um, but that is an awesome start for you, you to be able to play around with the table elements and create a beautiful, well-laid-out resume. Good luck.